just like we eased into your workout, it's important to ease out of it too. So this is your cool down. This is also the best time to stretch because your muscles are really warmed up. So first we're going to start with a ball doing boxing twists. Now you don't have to use the ball. Both Fran and Lindsay are going to do these without a ball. So what we're going to do is just slowly rotate the body, turning side to side. As simple as this. And this not only strengthens muscle because we're still wanting to get those abs to show, but it also stretches them out. Great. Now, I'm going to go extend the ball outward, and the ladies are just going to extend their arms outwards. So this increases the lever. So not only am I getting a better stretch, I'm also getting better abdominal work from the oblique. So it's a great abdominal workout. Now, I'm going to be just kind of like, almost like doing a bob and weave, but I'm using the ball to add a little bit more resistance. This is a great stretch, cool down move. And at the same time, I'm also still training those abs and back. So these are called dynamic stretches where we're moving in very big movements. Now it's kind of like a chopping motion. I'm just adding a little bit more of a swing to it, which again, elongates the muscles, stretching them, and a great way to cool down. Finally, I'm going to just lift the ball overhead and I'm going to go the back slightly, but instead of tossing it into the camera, I'm going to toss it to a partner. So we're just going to go back and forth, and it's a spinal extension. Every time I catch it, I extend my spine and throw. That's right, back and forth, extend and throw. Excellent. So that's a really nice way to finish up. With your arms up, get a big stretch medicine ball in both hands, and just lengthen your whole spine, keep a slight bend in your elbows, and then just rotate your upper body a little bit to the left, and then rotate a little bit to the right. And then now imagine you're just drawing a large circle. So your spine, your upper body, everything is relaxing. And now I go in the other direction, still stretching and dynamically stretching all of these muscles in the upper body. And you'll feel the whole upper torso working for that exercise. Finally, we bring our hands up into the fighting position and then just twist to the side and twist back. So once again, this is a dynamic stretch for the waist and at the same time, we're holding our hands in that fighting position, which is exactly what we need to do, keeping those hands up, learning to keep our hands up.